Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I'm here in my backyard shed where I installed my 12 volt solar panel and battery system. This system's been working great since the day I installed it. I'll place a video card up at the top right of the screen so you can check out that video. To get into this shed I have a regular metal entry door which doesn't really have much strength around the deadbolt or the doorknob. In this video I want to show you how to reinforce your entry door using a 3 inch steel plate and a few lag screws. Stay tuned for more. Okay, so I'm going to want this about 12 inches long. Okay, so I marked it uh, 12 inches. I'm going to take the angle grinder with the cutting wheel and I'm just going to cut this and then I'm going to grind everything smooth. Don't forget uh, eye protection and ear protection gloves. Okay, so here you can see the three inch plate. I finished drilling the holes and I just put the lag screws and washers through. So all in all, I have six two inch lag screws. These are five sixteenths and I think they'll hold it pretty well. And finishing everything up here, I just wanted to spray it with a little bit of gray primer to protect the metal. I took a scrap piece of 3 8 inch thick uh, particle board that I had laying around and cut it to the same size as the steel plate. I'm using this as a backer piece to support the steel plate so I'm going to actually mark it here and drill holes through it so that uh, the lag screws don't touch it. It's recommended to pre-drill holes into the studs before installing lag screws so right here I'm actually going through the particle board pre-drilling the holes into the studs. So there we have it, the three inch plate is installed with the lag screws. And uh, there's one other thing that we can really do to reinforce this area of the door, and that is to remove the stock screws that came with the door frame that, uh, that hook into the dead bolt area and the doorknob area. So we're going to take these screws out and uh, really put long screws that 
really dig into the actual studs behind the door jam. Okay, so here's the finished product. I have the three inch plate with the two inch lag screws all screwed in nice and tight. You got some real nice three inch screws going into the door jam. Uh, with these changes, the door is much stronger than before and uh, will resist a lot more impact and uh, attacking force than the stock door. Um, these parts can all be picked up at your local hardware store uh, for really cheap. The three inch uh, steel plate, which was three feet long, so I do have a lot of extra left over. Um, cost about $17 at Home Depot and the lag screws were, you know, 20 cents each. So 30 bucks for this whole thing, $25. Uh, I'd say it's definitely worth it. It was a fun project. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and watching the video, guys. Really appreciate you guys' uh, feedback and comments. Uh, if you guys are interested in more content, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I have a good amount of projects coming up. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.